Hello, my name is Angelina and I'm an FSJ Journey Coach. I thought I'd bring you today a quick video on one of our background stamps, the Flower Tango background stamp. When I first seen this stamp, I fell in love with it because I just thought of all the different projects and techniques that I can make with it. Here you could see that I'm using a blender brush to add water before I color the image with my Zig Clean brushes. This I thought would be a great technique because I love how when I put color down onto the already damp paper, it kind of makes the color move in different directions and blends in really pretty different types of blended colors. And when I use my blender brush, I'm only putting a very small amounts of water down onto the cardstock. Using too much water can make the cardstock pill up and then you'd have a mess and probably have to start over again. I'm using two colors of the same color line. I'm using like a maroonish, reddish color, a darker one to start, and then I go on to a lighter color. And you can see that all I have to do is lightly touch the brush to the paper onto the all already damped paper that I put water down on before. And it is blending beautifully. I did only use one of the sides of the floral image in my card today, and I fussy cut that out. All I did was cut along the lines that I thought would fit onto my card mat, and I trimmed off the rest. Using my paper trimmer to make sure that I had straight lines, and all the way around, I made sure I cut it out up to the black line of the image. After I trimmed and fussy cut my image, I took a black Copic Chow marker and just went around the edges with it so that I can have a more defined black edge of my image so that it would pop up more off of my card. You'll see in a minute how I made a mistake and kind of made a black mark on one of my flowers, but I also fix it later and I show that as well. Here are our Journey Squares nesting dies, and I'm going to use the largest square die to create my card mat. After this, I'm going to use my die cutting machine to cut out this card mat onto our orange creamsicle cardstock. I just love orange creamsicle. That's one of my favorite colors. I'm so sorry, but in this video, it doesn't do it justice at all. This color looks a lot brighter than it actually does in person. I'll have to fix that on my camera settings next time. Now I'm going to assemble my card. I got a whipped cream cardstock and cut out a base three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I adhered the square mat and creamsicle cardstock onto that. Now I'm using journey squares to adhere my floral image and I'm going to put that onto the lower left hand corner of my card. Using these foam squares gives it a nice dimension and makes the image pop off the card. Next I'm going to use an embossing tool to get my black licorice cardstock ready for my card sentiment. I'm going to stamp in clear pigment ink color outside the line stamp from, I believe it's called Color My World stamp set. I'm going to have to get back to you and I'll leave it in the description below exactly what the stamp set was. Then I'm going to fussy cut the color outside the line sentiment and get this ready to place on my card. I wanted to get a big enough sentiment so that I could cover up that black line that I made with the Copic marker earlier and you'll see how I do that in a minute. I love this sentiment because it made me think of exactly the mistake I made. I colored outside the lines. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video on the Flower Tangle background stamp. Here is another example of another card that I made using the same background stamp and two of the floral images. I hope you enjoyed this and goodbye!